From that first impression when a customer walks through your door to how well your assets perform every day, you're the ones leading the way. Today, you're facing a changing world, which means you're tackling more challenges than ever before. You're embracing the unknown, making strategic decisions and finding fresh, innovative ways to run your business. You've risen to the challenge, you have momentum, and no one is going to slow you down. And you know transparency and data are key to moving your business forward. Service Channel provides you with the insights you need to reduce costs, improve quality, ensure compliance, and be confident in every decision so you can focus on what's ahead. Service Channel is with you every step of the way. We will continue to move forward. We will build a better future together. Hello and welcome back to ServiceX. I'm your host, Louis Leung, and today we're talking provider sourcing. We want to show you the secret ingredient of how to source the right providers. And we're going to demonstrate how we're making that secret ingredient available to you through our new products and solutions. With me today are Bashir Abdallah, who will reflect on his conversations with our customers and how that's shaped how we wanted to help you. We've got my colleague Mike Roberts, who will talk about Scout, our data-driven vendor sourcing and management solution, and introduce our special guest, Jackie Smollinger from Save A Lot, and her experience with the Scout program. Finally, Monica from our product team will show you our latest innovations in provider search. It's going to be a great show, so let's get started. Bashir, take it away. Thanks, Louis. Hi, I'm Bashir, the VP of product here at Service Channel. One of the advantages afforded to me in my role here is spending time engaging with customers to better understand the problems that are faced with the selection of the right provider. In my six years at Service Channel, I've heard about the underlying challenges of maintaining a balance between performance and cost. I've also heard about the difficulty in the sourcing process, namely how finding the right provider can often be a guessing game. And I think we all know that success in facility management is tied to the selection of the right provider. Prior to Service Channel, I spent seven years sourcing for one of the largest convenience store chains in North America. I started in 2008 at a time when the economy was sliding and consumer confidence was weaning. And in the process, FMs were asked to do more with less and without the solution to help them find qualified providers. As a result, we saw greater dependence on brokers who continue to play a key role even for core trades and dense urban markets, with more than half the business on Service Channel assigned to these sorts of brokers. From our conversations, we understand the draw to using brokers, especially for FMs who are stretched thin. But we also know the shortcomings, that you lose the direct relationship with those who serve your locations, that performance and cost can often be difficult to manage, and at the end of the day, you are accountable for the decisions that these companies are making. Now, one of the main parallels between 2008 and today is the expectation to reduce cost without compromising on the quality of service. But there's a stark difference between 2008 and today. Today, access to data is the expectation of all customers. Service Channel as a platform has data from over 100 million work orders, the richest data set of quality performance in the industry. We want to leverage this information to help you solve problems in sourcing and identifying the right provider with relevant data so that you can restore direct relationships with service providers, help lower your costs, and have predictability about service performance. Seven months ago, when the world changed, we knew we had to do something big to help customers prepare for the years to come. And we started where we always do, by speaking with many of you about what was necessary for you to be successful. What we heard is that access to relevant data about providers was hard to come by. And that verified information about service providers' businesses and performance, including quality, speed, and cost, was paramount. So building on that, the wealth of data we have, along with the insights of factors that you care about, have led us to the following initiatives. The first is Scout, which many of you have already taken advantage of. Scout leverages data to evaluate your provider network in comparison with self-performing contractors. 
and helps you manage the wholesale onboarding of these providers that deliver improved performance at a better cost. The second is the new provider search solution, which will empower customers by matching you with the right providers based on relevant results for the areas that you're searching. This is not the old fixed book. It is a new provider search experience reimagined with you in mind. We're really excited to share this with you. But first, I'd like to introduce Mike Roberts, who will tell you all about how we can help you optimize your provider network with the secret ingredient. Thank you. Thanks, Bashir. I'm Mike Roberts, Director of Business Development here at Service Channel. One of the things my team has been working on for the last two and a half years is connecting our customers with the best providers in terms of cost and quality by leverage over 100 million work orders worth of data. We call this program Service Channel Scout. Whether you're expanding into new locations, filling gaps in coverage, trying to move from brokers to self-performers, or just optimizing for cost, quality, or speed, there's a lot of reasons that would drive you to source with Scout. What's interesting though, is regardless of the why, we often see that many brands just don't change. In a recent poll of both our customers and non-customers, we found that more than 50% of brands either change very little or don't change providers at all. To us, this is a huge missed opportunity. What we've actually found by looking at the data is that for providers, uh, for customers who actually change providers often, they drive a competitive dynamic and can often save 25% on provider costs. At the same point, they actually get much better performance from the providers, whether new or existing. So why don't brands change more often? One, friction. Finding, vetting, sourcing providers, is, it, there's a lot of friction in it, it's quite difficult. Second, time. FM departments are focused on putting out fires and keeping locations open, and oftentimes sourcing takes a backseat to those priorities. Third, there's no data set available on provider quality, speed, or cost that gives you the confidence to reliably make changes in your network. We solve for all of those problems through Service Channel Scout. What our team, with our team, and leveraging the richest data on providers, we can help our customers go out and find the best. We've got over 100 million work orders with detailed data on who's the fastest, who's the highest quality, and who's the most cost effective across our 70,000 strong network. Second of all, we've got a team that can take on the vetting, compliance management, onboarding, and monitoring of those providers once they're actually live and doing work. So how does Scout work? As a first priority, we work with our customers to identify the opportunities in their network to make positive change. Second, we'll go out, search, vet, and recommend providers that meet both the core requirements and customer requirements of any, any given customer. From there, we'll actually drive the onboarding process, which includes invitations, getting them into the network, vetting their COI certificates, taking a big load off of our customers' back. From there, we can actually help and get those providers in the right positions to do work. And finally, once they're doing that work, we'll monitor their performance to make sure they're upholding the standard upon which we recommended them, it's essentially becoming an extension of your FM team. It's interesting that over the past few years of doing this, uh, a number of uh, myths have popped up that we've noticed. And uh, the only way to combat these myths is with data. Myth number one is a really good one of three key provider ingredients, quality, speed, and cost. There's a myth that says that you can't have all three. When in reality, what we found is that the highest quality, fastest providers are often also the most cost effective. To show you an example, let's take a, take a look at plumbers across the US and their data on the service channel platform. For speed, a top quartile provider solves a problem typically 12 days faster than a bottom quartile provider. When you move over to quality, you'll see that they're twice as effective in solving a problem on their first try than the bottom quartile. And to complete the trifecta, you can see that not only are they faster and higher quality, they're also 13% less expensive than a bottom quartile provider. Which leads us right into myth number two, that rates have anything to do with provider cost. 
Historically in this industry, when you're trying to make cost-driven sourcing decisions, you only have one piece of data to rely on, and that's a labor rate. In fact, we've actually found that the hourly rates of a provider are not correlated at all to what their typical cost actually is. In this case, the provider with the highest rate is actually the most cost effective. So what does this tell us? That rather than rates, speed and efficiency of that provider when they're solving a problem is five times more predictive of cost than labor rates are. The truth is, when you have the data, you don't have to fall prey to these myths. Working with verified metrics can give you the confidence to change out providers. We lean into the data every time we do an optimization with one of our customers. We take their provider network, compare it to the platform data on providers that serve the similar trade, in a similar geography, in the same market vertical. And what we found out is that if you change out the bottom 25% of your network, you solve 80% of your headaches and can save money along the way. This example outlines some of the findings that we had in doing an HVAC optimization for a national retailer. Across all their stores, we were able to improve speed to arrive for emergencies by 53%, improve quality to the tune of 63% fewer recalls, and save nearly 30% on median cost per invoice. We've partnered with over 100 brands to optimize their networks, some in just a few trades and locations, others where we've built over 50% of their network. Let's take a look and see how Scout has worked for one of those clients. I'm happy to hand it back over to Lewis, who's with Jackie from Save-A-Lot. Thanks, Mike. So Save-A-Lot is known for their localized assortment of great private label brands, competitive prices, and easy to shop store layouts. They show that just like providers, you don't need to sacrifice on price to get high quality. I'm excited to introduce Jackie Smollinger from Save-A-Lot. Hey Jackie, thank you so much for joining us today. To get us started, could you tell us a little bit about yourself and your Save-A-Lot journey so far? Well, my name is Jackie Smollinger and I appreciate you having me today. And I've been with Save-A-Lot for two years as a facilities manager. Initially, I oversaw the Mid-Atlantic region, uh, which specifically had 90 corporate locations. But now I oversee the entire corporate fleet, which is roughly 390 plus locations. And before that, I worked for Chipotle for seven years. I worked my way up from a manager and crew all the way from facility specialist to, um, which was a tech in the field, to facilities coordinator. What a journey. Um... Could you share now a little how you use uh, Service Channel at Save a Lot? We have Service Channel to help us manage the locations that I spoke about, the 390 plus locations that are corporate, um, as well as we have started to utilize um, our distribution centers. There's 14 of them, and they are roughly, the distribution centers are roughly 300 thousand square feet. Each corporate store is 18,000 plus square feet. And so that's a big area to oversee. So things can break down and Service Channel helps us keep all of our information um, and utilize our vendors in the proper way for the trades that we need to dispatch for. Can you talk about how Service Channel maybe helped you manage uh, these provider sourcing and relationships? I would say one of the key items is metrics and KPIs. When we first got into a lot of the reviews with the vendors and we would set in as a partnership with our sourcing team and we would state to them, listen, we're here to team with you to explain that these vendors might have the best price. However, their check-in time is not being completed, which we all know if a vendor is not there, in the right amount of time, it can cause more damage to any piece of equipment. So if we don't have the right systems set up um, through the platform for Service Channel and it's not being recorded on the KPI side, then there's no way that we're going to be able to come into a, a meeting 
and ask the big questions of our providers if we don't bring something to the table. And that was the first port that we used was that tiny little piece of the KPI metrics. And it might seem small at first, but using those numbers to go back to a vendor and say, listen, you didn't perform well and your percentage has to be up by the next quarterly review. So it sounds like data has been really huge in in starting those conversations. Uh, Speaking of that data, what is your experience with Service Channel Scout? You see, we reached out to the Scout team specifically because we were having um, a bit of an issue just optimizing our refrigeration process. When we heard about the the Scout program, we wanted to trial run um, and actually see improvements within our refrigeration program. And we could not get vendors to go out to our site and give us good assessments of our refrigeration. And when we did, the prices were just skyrocketing and we just didn't know where to start. And I think that taking the leap into the scout team was probably one of the best decisions that we made. That's awesome to hear. Um, Could you share the results that you saw? Well, the completion was uh, one and two, which was about 80% of our first time completion because we wouldn't, (laughs) we didn't have that at first. And then we had an increase of like 65% with our check-in time, which was absolutely amazing because that shows us that our techs are getting out to site, our items are getting taken care of. We don't have much time to waste when it comes to the window of time before our product has to be pulled. So it's essential that we have a provider who is taking their work just as seriously as we do. So with that being said, the invoices went from almost $700 to $400 each trip visit, which is almost 45% savings, which was very pleasing to see because I guess we just didn't realize what to expect. So we were pretty happy. We were definitely happy with 45% savings. So we'll take that. (laughs) We're excited to see what else we can get. (laughs) Exactly. So what's next then? I would say now that we've tested this, I think that we go into other areas. There there has been discussion, the, the next area being plumbing. One of the discussions had been with the scout team to centralize a bit with the plumbing because we know that we can get costs down when we do it that way. So, um, We're pretty excited to see what kind of optimization we can get out of the cost savings with the program. So, Definitely. Uh, And just to close things off here, I wanted to see if you had any advice uh, for people who are looking to improve their provider network and, you know, don't necessarily know where to start. I would say look at your data, make it a routine. Don't be afraid to jump in where there's a high impact. Refrigeration is not an easy task, I would say. But we knew that if our sourcing team and facilities team stuck together, which is another thing that I will will push on, is that working together will show the impact at the end of the day. And giving credit where credit is due, you know, sending a quick email to someone and telling them you appreciated the help that they gave you. You know, spending an hour with someone with a vendor downstairs speaking to them on KPIs, that's huge. And then also, I think that there's a huge impact with utilizing the team with Scout. And I think that we were cautious at first, not knowing what to do, what kind of information we were going to get back. I think that not only were we pleasantly surprised, but we were very excited to see what kind of results we're driven in such a small amount of time. And I would say that if you are wanting to improve on your providers and find a way to save in cost, then the program is definitely something that your company and department should look into. Thank you so much, Jackie, for your time. Thank you for sharing your advice. Thank you for sharing your stories. It was a pleasure to have you. Thank you. I had a great time. What an amazing story we just saw with Save-A-Lot and Jackie. 
It really showed the power of having that data work for you. But what if you needed to just find one specific technician for one location? Or you just wanted to fill some small gaps in coverage? Wouldn't it be great to have access to the same performance metrics that the Service Channel Scout team sees for individual providers? I'm excited to introduce Monica, the Director of Product Management, who will give you an exclusive sneak peek into how the product team at Service Channel is making this possible. Thanks, Louis. Hi, everyone. I'm Monica from the Service Channel Product Management team. I'm here to talk about our new provider search. Some of you may be familiar with Fixbook, our comprehensive contractor directory. While it was great for many things, we recognized that it wasn't providing the user experience we envisioned. So we decided to go back to the drawing board with a secret ingredient, the industry's richest provider data. We did not want to make a Fixbook 2.0 or a feature that is marginally better. Instead, we wanted to create something brand new that can help build strong and successful relationships with brands and service providers. So how did we do that? We talked to a lot of great customers and spent months reviewing the data from the Service Channel Scout team and their engagements. We wanted to thank all the brands that provided the guidance to make this possible. We incorporated all these data points and insights to make sure provider search focused on factors that mattered the most. So introducing the most comprehensive search and recommendation solution and the only one in the industry with objective performance data. This is Service Channel's new provider search. So let's take a look at how it works. Provider search will be available on the top navigation with a new notation on service automation. You'll be able to access it anywhere on the platform, even when we integrate with more products across Service Channel. When you select Provider Search, you'll notice a standard search bar with a location input. You'll also notice several boxes below. We call these discovery boxes with a list of providers that we think best fit your needs. The results are based on relevant performance data and dynamically generated with our technology that quickly runs through your provider lists and assesses coverage gaps that you might want to fill. So let's say we're looking for HVAC in Fremont, California. The platform automatically pulls speed and quality scores for each provider search results. You'll see which providers are recommended for you with the best matches showing up first taking into account what's relevant to your industry and location. So spend less time searching for the right provider because the best results for you will always show up first. Now let's learn more about this provider. Provider profiles have been redesigned so you can focus on the details that matter. At a glance, you'll see their coverage area, not only self-reported, but also based on actual work orders so you know whether they can serve your location. Not only that, but the profile automatically pulls in speed and quality metrics from their work on our platform. We are bringing all the performance insights from millions of work orders so you can decide which top providers to work with. You'll also find providers that have worked with similar companies and industries to make sure they have the appropriate experience that is, import that is important to you. Finally, we're excited to partner with Middesk to verify business details so you can be sure that you're working with qualified providers. So that's a sneak peek of the brand new service channel provider search. We want to make it easy for you to source providers successfully with a secret ingredient, the industry's richest data. That means creating a personalized experience to recommend providers that match best with your needs. I'm confident this will be a valuable tool to create stronger relationships between you and providers. And I'm excited to announce search will be available for all customers early 2021. Thank you, Monica. I can't wait to see the provider relationships that our customers will build through the new provider search. I hope that our two new solutions will help you take that first step sourcing providers to save on costs and boost performance. And our team would love to help you identify new opportunities to optimize your provider network. You can do that by contacting your account manager to help you get that free tailored assessment.
For those of you who aren't Service Channel customers yet, you can learn more about the types of insights we have by visiting the page on screen now. There, you can also sign up for a free provider network analysis.